Fifi, do you have uh, morning supervisor duties? You usually do. Yep, you're the one who comes out with me in the morning and hangs out. Grumpy comes out in the morning and runs off, but you usually hang out with me. So, she's a pretty lenient supervisor. It's morning for her too. Meanwhile, Bob in the mornings always steals my chair and I have to kick him off every time I want to sit down and take a break. And he never learns. And yeah, so Bob's lazy in the mornings. Good morning for Bobblehead Homestead. Good morning for Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. And uh, I don't know, low 70s, cloudy. Uh, rain last night, it was sprinkling this morning, and it was yeah, still kind of dripping on me here and there. Uh, I slept in until 8 o'clock this morning, and that was wonderful. I mean, not that I don't do that all the time, it's just I haven't done it in a few days, so that was nice today. Uh, everybody's taken care of, except the fraternity boys behind me, so we're going to see the fraternity boys rush this morning. egg haul so far it's noon and just started sprinkling again so that's why I put them in these flats and now I'm gonna take them inside because it's sprinkling again and my mandatory chicken chores for the day are done as soon as I deliver those waters to the baby chicks inside uh, two uh, incubators I got them cleaned out I have another batch of Moran's going on lockdown tonight so I got those cleaned out. Uh, they probably won't dry out in the sun because there is no sun. So I'll take them inside, dry them off, hook them up, and get them adjusted to the right temperature and humidity uh, so that I can transfer eggs uh, tonight. I've got uh, two different types of morons that I will be putting on lockdown tonight. And yeah, the last five waterers going into the baby chicks. And then I can stop for lunch and we'll see what happens after that. What's up, number two? It's raining. You want to go back in? You want to go back in the easy way? I'll let you back in the easy way. No, come here. There you go. There you go. You're welcome. It's raining again. I'm under an umbrella. And I'm waiting on my ride. I've been waiting on my ride. Oh man, I was gonna make her chicken of the day and she runs in the coop. Dudes. Okay, who else is out that wants to be chicken of the day? Oh yeah, yeah, how about you? This is a little Olivegger, pull it. Um, Larry, the white and true blue rooster is the father and Welsimer. I had two Welsomers in there. I now have one Welsomer in there with Larry. 
and uh, that would be the mother. So she is a first generation olivager, and I don't believe she started laying eggs yet, but they'll be a nice shade of green. Um, yeah, she's pretty nice. Let's see, she's got she's got a bunch of sisters. I hatched a bunch of those eggs from Larry and the Wellsomer hens. And uh, she has a couple older ones that have already started laying, so I've got a really good idea what shade of green, kind of a medium green, uh, that she'll be laying. One of her older sisters was putting speckles on them very nicely. So uh, that's one thing is, uh, yeah, can't be 100% sure what the eggs are going to look like until you raise them up and test them out. Other than that, it's just a theory. She's a pretty girl. She's an olivager. She's one of my older olivagers. Uh, probably Mary Tyler Moore is her mother. She looks very similar. And uh, uh, one of the Welsomer roosters would have been her father. She lays a nice light green it's distinguishable from blue. Most people would call that an Easter egg, or probably. And I'm still waiting on my ride, so. And the umbrella is working for this light rain. Since I'm still waiting on my ride to show up, how about another chicken of the day today? And I'm going to pick out this lovely, lovely splash copper bronze from Deer Run Farm in Maryland. Uh, yep. And that's a black copper marons hen. But the splash is, that's the only splash I have. Um, she is in here with a black copper marons rooster and a blue copper marons rooster. So I have one of each color in here. But, uh, so if I hatched her eggs and the black copper marons was the father, all of her kids would be blue copper marons. So that's one cool part of the genetics. And let's see, if the blue copper marons is the father, I think half of them will be blue, and half of them would be splash. You're a pretty girl. I'm just trying to show everybody you're a pretty girl. So yes, splash copper marons. I have not singled out which egg she's laying, but most of the eggs coming out of here are pretty dark, so that's good. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, the, those dark brown eggs I'm getting will be consistent uh, in the black, blue, and splash flock that I have here. And there's a couple leghorns. And there's the black copper marons rooster and a couple, three black copper marons hens. That's all I'm going to have for this video. It is raining. I should put the umbrella over the camera instead of myself. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've got a ride coming. And he's bringing a thing so that we can go get another thing. And, uh, yep. So I'm going to sign off for this video. But the rest of today you might find at the Noisy Neighbors. Both hands are busy. I can't point to the corner. The Noisy Neighbors collaboration channel with Dutch Creek Cabin Drew. Uh, for the rest of today, that video might come out tomorrow. I have no idea how long this is going to take tonight. So, but he's coming with the thing. Yeah, I spoiled it. Drew's coming with the thing, so we can get another thing. If you want to know what those things are, have a look at the Noisy Neighbors next video. Hopefully tomorrow. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody. My ride's here with the thing, and we're gonna go get the other thing. So have a look at the noisy neighbors tomorrow. And it's loaded, now we gotta strap it down. <laughs>